You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description, or a falling platform, create a new scene, with a sprite as the core of the scene, right click, hit rename, rename it to falling platform, add the texture to the art atlas that you can download for free, link in the description, change the texture filter to nearest, as we are using pixel art, then go to region, enable, edit region, change the snap mode to grid snap, scroll in with the mouse wheel, and select the falling platform, add a static body 2D as a child, add a collision shape 2D node as a child of the static body, add the shape to a rectangle, select it, change the size to 24, 24. go to transform, and change the position to negative 2 on the y axis, add an area 2D node as a child, add a collision shape 2D node as a child of the area 2D, set the shape to a rectangle, select it, change the size to 24 by 2, then go to transform, and change the position to negative 4 on the y axis, select the falling platform node, and add a script, then select the area 2D node, go to node, and signals, double left click the body entered signal, and connect it to the script, inside we will establish a variable to keep track of if the platform has fallen, inside of the body entered signal function, we will check if the body is a character body 2D, which is only the player in my game, if you have enemies or other objects that are also character body 2Ds, then you can instead check for the body's name, or check for a variable that only the player has, or a group that the player is in. Additionally, we check if the platform hasn't fallen. Then, we will create two tween variables, one for the opacity of the platform, and another for the position. A tween will smoothly move from one value to another, and we set the transition to sign so that the animation is smooth. Next, we tween both variables, passing the falling platform, the respective property, the targeted opacity of 0, and the targeted position, which is an offset of the current global position, down by 12 pixels, and we set the animation time to a total of 0. 0.5 seconds. Then we set has fallen to true so that we can't reactivate this falling animation again. Now to disable the static body collision shape after the tween completes, we can create a custom function called disable collider, which will simply set the static body collision shape to be disabled. Then you can grab either of the tweens, their finished signal, and connect it to the custom function so that the custom function runs as soon as the tween complete. Now you have a falling platform that you can add to any of your 2D games. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.